Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Now I'm going to show you how to program the Classic to work with your clipper and your wind turbine. The Classic will come shipped like this. You turn it on, it's going to ask you solar, wind, or hydro. We're going to pick wind. And incidentally, if, if this is an existing Classic that was set up for solar and you were repurposing it, you can do a factory restore. Um, see another video we have entitled Doing a Factory Restore. We'll show you how to get back to that screen. We pick the battery voltage. In this case, it, it's right. If it wasn't, we'd use the up and down arrows to select that. We set our charging points correctly. I equalize at 61 volts. I charge at 59.2. Absorb. This is sometimes called bulk. These are values that your battery manufacturer will give you. The defaults in the Classic are low on the safe side for like a sealed gel battery. So you do want to get these specs from your battery manufacturer and set them accordingly so you properly charge your batteries. 56.4 is my float voltage. Push enter. It's asking me to set the date and time. It's correct at the moment so I won't change it but I will show you that the left and right arrows move you through. The up and down arrows change the value. When you're done you press enter. It's sending all the data to the Classic. We'll let it go through its boot up process. Okay, now we'll go into the auxiliary and show you how to program the clipper mode. Push the main menu button repeatedly until you get to the beginning. You'll either have wizard or charge highlighted. Scroll until you find auxiliary. Press enter. Go to aux2. Press setup. We're already in clipper control mode, but if we weren't, we would scroll up and down until we found clipper control. Now we need to press the volts top right soft key. The outside two parameters should be fine by default. Should be no necessary adjustment made. The width can be changed if the clipper is acting like it's got the wrong resistance value. That's something that you probably should call tech support on. The default should be fine. The one value you do have to set here is is it an AC or DC clipper. Very common is AC. DC clippers are pretty uncommon. So we're going to set that as AC. We're going to press enter to save that value. We're going to go to max V. Now this is the voltage we talked about earlier in the first video. This is the voltage at which the Classic will fire the clipper no matter what. This is a fail safe voltage. If the batteries are full it will slow the turbine down, way down. But this is if something goes wrong, the mode gets turned off, whatever the case may be. This is the, the, the absolute max the Classic will let the turbine get to. Again, you can use the up and down arrows to change that. There is a shift button here. You hold that. It scrolls faster so you don't have to you know, wait so long to get where you want to go. When you've got that value set where you want, you press enter. Save that. We back up. We back up again. We back up one more time. And this, this menu here, we need to make sure that that's not set for off or on. It needs to be set for auto or clipper control. A neat thing about this is now, if you turn that on like that, now you've turned your clipper on, which will actually stop the wind turbines. You actually have a software brake as well as a hardware brake on the clipper. I want to set it for auto. We want to turn it on. And that takes care of the auxiliary portion. So now we want to go into the mode menu, we push the main menu to back up to aux, scroll to the left, enter, we're in wind track, we want to set the graph. So here we go to the graph, we have the memory button, we're going to push the memory button, we're going to scroll through the presets. These are where you could adjust your own curve, we will show you how to do that in another video entitled Building a Wind Curve for your Classic Charge Controller. In this case, we have a Bergy XL1 on a 48 volt battery, as you see here. But I will scroll a little bit more and show you that you know there's a bunch of factory wind curves in here: Kestrel, Dairyland, V-Bind, Bergy, um, all the common ones. Uh, more coming daily. You do want to keep an eye on the battery voltage. I'm looking for 48 volt. Bergy XL1 on a classic on a 48 volt battery. I'm going to press Recall to get that curve. This is the Bergy curve. Now I'm going to press enter to save it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the main menu button and I want to turn the wind track mode to on. 
and then press enter. You want to press enter because you want to see the data sent and saved. Otherwise, if the classic gets rebooted, the mode will turn back to off. But that, that's all you need to do. That concludes programming the classic to work with your wind turbine and your clipper. Now you would press the status button and you would turn the clipper into the run position to allow your turbine to go. That concludes setting up your classic and clipper to work with your wind turbine. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.